Okay, I got a good story for you. There's nothing better than a good training story. Well, I mean, there probably are things better than a good training story. But this is pretty good. Hold on, I think you'll like it. Hi, everybody. This is Todd Conkut. It's the pre-accident investigation safety moment, operational excellence moment. Here we go. Fasten your story listening to seatbelts. I'm about to take you on a ride. So I'm teaching a class uh, pretty recently, actually. Pretty good class. Best class ever, I'm sure. I mean, it it felt like it at the time, that's for sure. And um, the senior leadership was really struggling on the, the part that I talk about between learning and punishing. So if you've sat through a discussion with almost anybody, but if you've talked to me, one of the things that I hold on to pretty tightly is the fact that you can either blame and punish or you can learn and improve, but you can't do both. You can either get better or get revenge, and those are actual deliberate leadership choices based upon what happened and how they respond to the event. And my premise is, is that if the event is one you can learn from, then you want to choose learning, which is the opposite of punishing. I guess if the event is one you don't want to learn from, um, I don't know, a guy comes to work drunk or something, you can choose punishing, which is the opposite of learning. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow, at least initially, because it's just a hard pill to swallow. I mean, uh, you know, we've been thinking about this and talking about this a long time, you and I. But for some leaders, that's pretty new, and they really push back on it. They push really hard on it, and they say, well, you know, I I think I need to be able to do both, or which is impossible, right? Because culturally, if you punish, then you're going to shut down information. Or they'll say, you know, I can't, I need to be able to, I have to have control. If I don't have control, the workers will take advantage of me, so I've got to punish. Or the big one I hear a lot is, you know, this sends a clear signal throughout the organization that we're serious about safety, deterrence. And those are kind of the, the three standard conversations. And it's I'm pretty convinced I won't change anybody's mind in a class, but I still try. I mean, I, I go for it. But I do think that they can never unhave the conversation we're having. And having that conversation, lots of time it's the first time anybody's had this conversation with them, it becomes a pretty important time to think about it. So I'm having this discussion, and it's probably I, I lost control and was too far in the discussion and had gone on too long. But in the middle of the discussion, this guy says, well, I, I, let me see if I can help translate it. Just a, a participant in the class. And I said, absolutely, because, I mean, who wouldn't take assistance and feedback, and, and this is going to be great. So the guy stands up, and he says, here's how I got it figured. If you criticize your daughter's first boyfriend— you'll never get to meet the second. I'm going to say that again. If you criticize your daughter's first boyfriend, you'll never get to meet the second. And in that brief moment, you guys, in that split second, everything made sense to that leader. And and quite honestly, it made a lot of sense to me. I, I never thought of it that way. But in fact, that's a pretty good way to think about the dichotomy between blaming and punishing And learning and improving. Because if you want to shut communication down, be hypercritical. You're still going to have a daughter who dates, but now she's going to date without you being involved. And that's pretty powerful. So the class continues. I think about it a lot. And the next day I'm meeting um, to talk to people about investigating events. And one of the guys that was in that class the day before is is in the discussion the next day. And he says, before we get started, he said, I I just want you to know that I went home and apologized to my daughter. And I told her what we talked about. And I told her how my approach probably shut down communication. And she accepted my apology. And I got to meet Justin. That, my friends, is today's safety moment. Have as much fun as you possibly can. Learn something new every single day. Bet you did today. And for goodness sakes, be safe.